morning, a local teenager is making a name for herself in bobsledding. She is even heading to the Youth Olympics next week. Here's ABC 10's Marcus Allen with more on her hard work of success as we continue to follow her career. Mark. Absolutely. Good morning. And we're in the Lodge Coffee Shop, Citrus Heights, for two reasons. One, it's kind of lodge. It made me think of like snow in a lodge environment. It's owned by Uni from Korea. And this is the Olympic hopeful, Emily, headed to Korea. Hello. Good morning. All right. So I've had the pleasure of uh, following your journey for the last two years. When I first met you, you had just received this. You broke a world record. 21 years running. And I said at that moment, oh, man, your life is in for a change. It is going to be a world win. Indeed, it has been. Talk about these last two years. Yeah, so since then, I was named to the Youth Olympic bobsled team, and I've competed 12 Youth Olympic qualifying races in Norway, in Austria, Korea, and Lake Placid, New York. And uh, I medaled at nine out of the 12 races and was honored to be named second in the world after the entire season. Yeah, second in the world. And also, am I correct in saying you are the only woman headed to the Olympics representing bobsledding? Yes, I'm the sole representative for women's youth bobsled. That is amazing. Yeah, she is the pride of St. Francis. I know technically you're not in St. Francis now because you have to homeschool. It's the only way you would be able to do all the training. What does a day look like for you? It's a lot. So in the morning, I get up, I go lift, I have to do sprinting, come back later in the evening, do ice recovery, all that, take care of myself, and then visual runs, which is very important for us bobsledders, where we kind of imagine what driving down the track would be so we can get more experience without actually being on the ice. What's remarkable about you when I talk about, so you win this, you win the Olympics, you already have it planned. That's just the beginning of the journey for you. Yeah, this isn't the end for me. After the Youth Olympics, I want to get into a sled. Currently, I drive monobob, so it's just me and the sled. I want to drive two man, so a, a brakeman behind me, and I want to, you know, move up to the next tier with the national team and hopefully, you know, continue racing. I've asked you this before, uh, and I, I love diving into it because people are amazed at the fact that you're getting into this thing that goes how many miles per hour? About 70 to 80. You're pulling G's like an Air Force fighter jet. You wear a helmet. Have you had crashes? Is there danger? There definitely is danger. I have crashed before. Thankfully, no serious injuries, which happens in bobsled. But um, yeah, it is very dangerous, and it's not comfortable either. It's a uh, it's pretty rough ride. Wow. Throw out the socials so we can continue to follow your journey. Yeah, I'm on I'm on Instagram at emily.brook.bradley, and then I also have a website uh, www.bradleybobsled.com. There you go. The only woman in the world representing bobsledder from our own backyards. There you go, Emily Bradley. Always an honor. Go get it. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, back to you. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. BradleyBobsled.com. <laughs>